So we have big news. Sabrina Matias versus Liam Paro is official. Um, the date for that fight will be June 15th. It'll definitely be in Puerto Rico as he defends his IVF world title. And it's going to be at the uh, Coliseo, Juan, IBN, uh, Cruz, Abreu, and uh, Manati. Uh, and it's going to be on June 15th on the zone. It's going to be a good fight. Sabrina Matias coming in. With Sabrina Matias coming in 20-1 and one with 20 knockouts. Uh, it's going to be a very good fight for him against a guy like uh, Paro. Who is 24-0 with 15 knockouts? Uh, this is gonna be a huge fight. Paro says he's can't, he can't wait to fight. This is a opportunity of a life lifetime, basically. Been waiting his whole life for this opportunity. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He said fighters fight, and he can't wait to fight the boogeyman in his backyard. It's gonna be a huge fight. I definitely can't wait. Um, this is um. Eddie, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom's first event in uh Puerto Rico, so it's definitely gonna be a good uh a good fight. It's with uh Fresh Promotions. I mean Fresh Productions. Excuse me, it's gonna be with Fresh Productions, and uh this is definitely some um I'm looking into. I, I like the idea of uh what they have going on. I think this is a very big deal. They have a lot of different things they've been doing, and um, putting this fight together is definitely a huge event. Um, with Paro being a guy, that'll be the first fight on Matchroom, the zone. That definitely shows that Matias uh, wants this fight. You know, Sabrina Matias is definitely doing a lot right now. To uh, separate himself. That's why I said I wanted this fight to happen. I know the Elvis Rodriguez fight would have been decent, but I think with this fight, it kind of just gonna let everybody know because you know a lot of people still questioning if Matias still has this and that. So I think with this fight right here, we're gonna kind of just wipe out all questions as far as his talent and what he can do in the ring. It's going to be a loaded year, though. For April, May, and June, it's going to be loaded. It's going to be to the top of the top. Definitely going to be huge throughout this year. It's going to be a lot of fights. 140 is becoming loaded right now. And with Liam Parle stepping into the picture, stepping to, uh, stepping up to the plate, and I let people know a lot of times, you know, a lot of these fighters will fight. You know what I'm saying? Paro, Matias, they will fight each other. You know, so I didn't like anybody saying that either of those guys were ducking and, because I knew it would happen. This is definitely a huge fight in boxing. These next couple of fights, Ryan Garcia, all these guys, the next couple of weeks, I'm going to start talking a, lot, a little bit more about these fights. But this is definitely what we need in boxing this year. Um, this takes the spotlight a little bit more off of things that's going on outside of boxing, but this definitely makes um, the year and the summer a lot more better. This is one of the best summers we're going to ever have in Boston. It's going to be back to back to back. It's a lot of pressure. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll see. Um, I could probably have some uh, information about that later on, I'll say. But it's definitely a lot of fights happening right now. And with Matias stepping into the picture at 140, uh, Devin Haney says that he, he's going to stay at 140. And right now, the zone has the advantage. So I definitely think Matias made the right decision on going to the zone. I kind of was a little hesitant because I didn't know. But at this point right now, yeah, he definitely. Because the top rank doesn't have as many guys at 140. That's one reason why I thought the decision was uh, a great decision. Uh, which it is. Um, you still got guys like Barbosa. Most of the guys that Matias is. Looking the faces at uh, 140 already on the zone, so it's definitely um, something that he can look forward to. But it's gonna be a good match, man. I feel like Puerto Rico is definitely uh, anticipating a good fight. I feel like that's something that a lot of people are kind of thinking of going to uh, during during the summer. 
It'll be a huge event. Matias is someone who's going to bring a lot of fans out. He got a lot, a lot to prove. He's been trying to get in this position for a while now. And you know, a lot of people say, well, they feel like he's getting too much credit early. But it's a lot more guys that have got a lot more credit than him that haven't done anything without a belt. And I've been saying that for a while now. So we got to keep it fair across the board. But he definitely uh, having a homecoming in Puerto Rico. And it's going to be huge. The mayor has said it, uh, that they're ready for the uh, fight. You know, with Jake Paul coming out there and disappointing, it kind of hurt things a little bit, but it's not going to hurt them as far as uh, having a homecoming. It would have been nice if they could have had a, uh, someone added to the card. But uh, as far as this fight alone, uh, that's all I'm really uh, waiting, waiting on. If they had any other fights that's big, that will be good too, but... Other than that, you know, if I'm a fighter, I would definitely want to get on a Puerto Rico card, but I feel like it's definitely going to be good for uh, Matias' career. I mean, the fan base is definitely waiting on something like this to happen, so, you know, I think he's in the driver's seat right now. He doesn't really have to wait on anybody to create big fights. Once he starts to build himself up and get his name going, he's not going to have to wait on anybody. That's what a lot of people are trying to anticipate him doing as far as his career. They think that he's going to run around and chase Devin Haney or somebody. I told people he doesn't have to do that because with the mandatories and the way the zone is set up, he went to the zone, so he obviously wants the fights that are um, at 140. So it makes a lot of sense. Definitely makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of options around there. And if guys want to make some... uh. Big things happen. They'll definitely try to jump in the ring with him right now. But Liam Paul coming off a big fight against Montana Love, uh, that's definitely put him on the map as far as being somebody who's a legit contender. Um, I I felt like his style was definitely something that's um that can translate over to the pro game, especially against guys over here in America and different things like that. So it's going to be a huge fight, man. And in uh, the Latin America and Puerto Rico, that style, Dominicans. But it's a tricky style, though. Like, uh, Matias' style is different from a lot of people. It's not, it's not like most people. He has his own style. So it's, diff- it's definitely li- not like how uh, people really think so. But... I think he's doing an excellent job as far as uh, moving fast with his career. He knows that he's still in his prime right now. He doesn't want one of these young guys to try to catch him while he's out of his prime and not really at the top level like he used to be. So he's definitely trying to uh, still be the best. But he has he has his eyes on the prize right now, and it's definitely going to be a huge fight for him. I'm definitely excited about this fight. I'm glad they made this fight possible. Uh, sounds like everybody wants to uh, make this uh, possible. Eddie Hearn, he's definitely uh, behind everything, making a lot of big fights happen. You know, I felt like Eddie Hearn, I knew he was kind of new to certain things a couple of years ago, but the way he's doing things now, I feel like he's he's basically learned a lot more about over here and, different countries and things like that. So he's definitely making big moves. Um I'm I think that uh this fight will be better than what Jake Paul put it put on in Puerto Rico. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. I think the action people people just want to see the action. You know, with the fight getting canceled and everything else, that didn't help, but people just want to see the action as far as these fighters. And with a guy like Paro and Matias you know, they want this fight. This is not um, something that's going to be easy. It's going to be a very hard fight for them. They fighting at a high level right now. But it's definitely something that I've been waiting on. And I feel like Matias is a guy who's definitely at a high level right now. He's definitely at a high level. If he wins this fight with a knockout or something like that, that'll definitely put him... I'm not going to lie, man. If he can win this in high fashion... I'm gonna say, I'm, gonna, you know, I'm gonna put him on a couple of lists, man. If he can, if he can win this in dominating fashion, 
Because at this point right now, he's definitely trying to make some fight happen. That's the one I wanted to see, the Liam Parle fight. I'm good with this one. I don't I don't gotta have no extreme standards. This is the one I wanted to see. I feel like this is gonna be a good style matchup for both of these guys. So I'm definitely proud to see these guys make this fight happen. This is what real warriors do in the sport of boxing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Matias is definitely a warrior in boxing. And a lot of people sleeping on him. He's he's gonna show people why he's at that level. But uh, that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.